All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Monday. We're in our second week of Christmas. Hopefully, you guys spent some of that good money you made this past uh, couple of months in the market. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Mike, good to see you. Bonnie, everybody. George, Wayne, good to see you, all the Cyber Traders, and welcome everybody here on YouTube, Facebook Live. Uh, we're going to get right into it. We'll have a nice little pop right now that's going on with this BCRX. You know, it is a Monday. Mondays are not always the goodest, the greatest days to trade. A lot of companies don't like to come out with news going over the weekend. I don't think we heard any bombshell things that are going on. Politics, obviously, uh, have uh, died down a little bit. But uh, the coronavirus is obviously getting pretty, pretty bad. All right. So, uh, you know, guys, be very, very careful out there. I know a few people that did get it. You know, God forbid no one no one's um, had you know, got awfully ill from it. But, um, you know, obviously it's going to look like it's going to take a big toll on what's going to happen. And it, you know, unfortunately, could probably could affect uh, the holidays going into this this year. You know, um, unfortunately, but um, but anyway, there are a couple, but there's always no other safer place to be than right here in the Cyber Group room. So let's go out there and do some shopping. Got a couple of stocks that are making some nice moves. But before we do that, I want to talk about what happened uh, last week. Now I know we have a lot of new members that are joining us here at Cyber Trading. Versus, it is your first week here at Cyber Trading. So. Uh, um, if you are doing your trial, all we could tell you is look, listen, and learn. Do not buy anything or trade anything that we're in. You're just here to observe. You're not here to see, you know, who, who Fausto or Josh or John or, or Rich or all the instructors. You're just here just to see if other people in the trading room make money doing it. I know you hear some good things and bad things about trading. And uh, you don't know what to believe, but, you know, maybe you took a course of somebody else to work out or maybe it's just too much chaos. But we we're a very, very tight group. We we're a family oriented type of group. We do this for 25 years. So sit back, watch and look and learn. And most importantly, make sure you have your appointment book with your education advisor so you can explain to you what's going on. All right. So you're not just sitting there. And the big thing you got to focus on, because I was speaking to somebody, I want to kind of, you know, not to bore you with this, but one thing I do want to bring up. Don't focus too much on our voice commentary and also don't focus too much on the charts, okay? Look at the chat on the bottom. Look at the other students in there, the other traders, how they collaborate with each other and how they interact with each other. That's what you have to focus on, all right? Because I want to make sure that you all know what you're getting yourself involved in because trading is the greatest job in the world but also could be a horrible, deadly divorce that can cost you a fortune and that's what you want to do. All right, but let's talk about what happened last week. There were a couple of stocks that did pretty well. Uh, I want to start off with the OXY trade right there. So um, I just want to just touch upon what happened last week. So we had a pretty nice pop in that one. You could see that stock at 1 o'clock ran from 1760 to 1860. It was a pretty decent move. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a great move, but it was a nice for a Friday afternoon. And we got to remember that for a Friday there are a couple of stocks that do, you know, do make good moves and don't make moves. Let's talk about a pump and dump. You hear those pump and dump stocks? Well, the HGSH was awesome. Great pump and dump stock. It was unbelievable in pre-market. It popped right out of the gate. Started at $1. fifty, went to five fifty, and then, then the story was over. So the stock started backing off, came right back to where it started. It was a fun pump and dump. That's why people like day trading. That listen, you just made your money in the pre market, it didn't work it in the after hours, and that was it. And you were done for the day. Actually, that was probably the only stock that was probably the stock I just trade. I was done for the day. Okay, um, China HGS real estate did not know that name, you know, interesting. All right, I'll just leave it as that. All right, uh, a couple of the shipping stocks did pretty well too. Uh, Tops obviously made a big, nice little pop going into the close, nice, cheap level one stock. And uh, and ship also. I don't know what what they made all, all going up, but they all moved pretty nicely. These shipping stocks took a big beating, and then obviously um, D R Y S. I hate that stock. Uh, I, I can't even spell it. Uh, anyway, it's delisted. Thank God. I, I don't have to hear about it anymore. All right. Uber obviously doing really really well, and finally Uber came out of its shell. A lot had to do about. The what happened in, I think personally, what happened is in in California with that new uh, that new uh, uh, what, what, what they do a uh, a uh, a law that came out that didn't pass and it worked out pretty well with Uber so I think it's going to spill over 
So Uber finally, it's been going nowhere for so long, but now it's finally making a big move. And that was nice. And then also airlines, 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 they all have done really well in it. Remember, not only do we day trade, but we swing trade. I keep telling everybody this. You want to be a very good you know, swing trader, but you're scared to day trade. You know what? You got to know what happens over the course of the day, which trickles into a swing trade. We also did pretty well on the riot too. Just kind of point that out. Uh, riot, obviously, you can see that's been a great swing trade for us. Uh, that one's been breaking all time highs already. Well, not all time high. Well, 52 week highs, I would say. But you know, if you, if you can't get into that Bitcoin, definitely you want to keep an eye on those too. Those also did pretty well. And uh, what are a couple of swing trades that we did? Nikola was probably the best one we got out of. That thing's just been dead. So I'm going to keep an eye on that stock. I'm still a fan of it. I'm going to keep an eye on it. But it was a good thing we got out of it when we did. All right, so let's go hop over here and talk about what's moving this morning. So we had a lot of stocks that were on the pre-market list, but now they're also, you know, now I'm separating from the A list and the B list. So when we look over here, we're going to start off with the A list. NNDM was one of them that obviously took a really, really big hit. I, I like to bottom fish. Stock's been on a big, big run up. I want to keep an eye on it. It's a nice level one stock. You get in and out of it. It's probably not the, um, hold on. Let me just change it to a one minute chart. It looks a little better. You could see the stock got crushed and starting to make a little bit of comeback. So um, I kind of like bottom fishing, you know, so this one probably good for a lot of beginners out there. O N C T. Here's another one. One of the one of the better ones this morning. It was on the morning pre-market watch list. If you were here around eight o'clock this morning and you got in at three twenty, you're probably giggling right now. So, uh, up about a buck on that stock right now. So that one it still looks strong. Look on the right hand side. Look at the level three. Look at those orders. Bing, 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 bing. A lot of orders going on right there. Nice little moving stock. BCRX, another one. This is probably our biggest winner so far this morning. I know a lot of people made some really good money on it. Um, let me do a couple of shout outs over here. Uh, Grant, you did pretty well on it. Um, Gary Smith got in at 618. Congratulations on that one. Uh, who else did pretty well? Oh, Deborah uh, McGuire did pretty good. She got into the ONCT. I'm just looking at all these orders right here. And for some of you that are on YouTube, Facebook Live, let me just bring this over this so they can all see it because they don't see they don't see it. I know you want to see it, but we'll see it eventually. Yeah, let me just bring this over. You can see right here. I'm just going to bring this over. You can see how, you know, Wayne jumped into it. Greg jumped into it. Uh, Grant, there's that big, big pop right there. So you can see how the people are in there. Ron, you got out of uh, Kodak. Good for you, man. That's what I'm going to put on the, uh, that one's going on the B list, Okay. But we're going to talk about Kodak also. So there's not a lot on the A list, yes. But let's go hop on the B list. We know the B list also will pop into the A list depending how the market opens up. So let's start off with that one. So this one was, was the top of my list on the pre-market. But then she kind of died. But remember, she is a penny stock, which also... Officially, never will put in the A-list. Never will put on the A-list. All right. E-Tech, another one. Gapped up pretty nicely, 66%. 3.8 million shares. I like the level three. Look at that. Not a lot of algorithm trading. Not a lot of black dark pools and, and you know, out there. But it's got, uh, it's kind of flat right here. So that's why I didn't make my A-list. It's back on my Bay list But we've seen this happen before. You traded it back in the beginning of November. The stock went from 3 to $10 a share. It was awesome. You guys killed it. I recommend you, if you were, if you were a student um, back then, which most of you are, go back and just check on the, the uh, your journals and see what notes that we taught you what to write to see how you traded it um, and see how you did with it. And the key is not to make the same mistakes if you missed out on it. Here's another stock. I, I didn't like the I don't like the the, the, the pre market charts. Very spotty, very spotty there. But you could see that it is up about thirteen percent, one point three million shares. You know that's why I made my A list. The MTNB is another one that came up and showed up. 
penny stock went back on the A list. Like I told you, it's not a really good Monday so far, but we're going to talk about it. Uh, Golden from uh, YouTube is asking me about the Kodak. So listen, Kodak, listen, you got to be careful with this Kodak. All right. Because I mean, I, I guess the what news came out that they didn't hold them liable for, for the mistakes that they did. But we made so much money in Kodak. And I think people still live in the glory days that, oh, maybe Kodak is going to be the next uh, SPI again. Listen, um, this stock, once again, if you did your homework and the, what you would train cyber traders, go back to your journals. You know the stock very well because we did not only trade this back in August, okay, or uh, the end of July. But we traded back in September. It did, the, it did the same head fake. It did the same head fake in October, you know, and it did it again November. So be very, very tricky. It's always it seems like it's always more of a short than more of a long. Remember, the only reason why this thing took off is because they thought they had this big contract deal with the with the coronavirus. And I didn't even I thought they just made those super Polaroids. I didn't think they got it. I mean, apparently they had their feet and everything. So I don't know what was, but sure didn't go too well for that stock back then. But I know a lot of people that pretended to be day traders and they thought they were the best things since sliced bread and then all of a sudden you know they blew up their accounts all right i remember um you know i had somebody i was talking to the other day was so looking forward to it he goes oh i, I own kodak i own Kodak," and it was like a very weird story it just so happened the guy never took training jumped into kodak was bragging how much money he made um three days later i didn't hear from him ever again okay and i wonder why and he wasn't a student it was somebody thought that oh i don't need training i do it myself okay great let me know how that works out for you obviously never dealt with something that was a short squeeze so anyway um so those are pieces of the watch list not a lot going on in the pre-market this is monday let's be very 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 picky what we do don't and uh, listen we can always make money but you saw what happened in september so what happened in october you saw what happened you know, in November and hell, I mean, I know we had the pandemic. It was probably one of the best summers we ever had uh, because we had this catastrophe, but you go into, you go into December. Now, obviously the vaccines out, you know, what's the market doing? markets, you know, hovering right over 30,000. It's not the greatest, most time to be aggressive. I'm going to repeat that over, over and over again. Every day we do this. And, uh, and also to let you guys know, it's, a, it's the best time to learn. The best time to learn. You know, think of spring training. You know, you don't go out there and play the Super Bowl and say, oh, I want, I want to play now. You got to practice. It's the best time to learn. So if you're new here to Cyber Train University, there's no better time to start making sure you're reviewing your classes and going over it because January is going to be a another crazy, crazy, crazy uh, uh, month. And that's where the volatility is going to pick up again. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? Anything else? What would you like to ask? Uh, we got somebody here on Facebook. Uh, what do you think of Tesla? Well, listen, Tesla is breaking all time highs. It's well, it's almost there. It's pretty much testing it. It breaks. It's things gonna break out. There's other stocks out there that trade uh, side by side with it, but um, but we don't trade Tesla. And I, I will never even and don't even tell me about options. Why go out there and risk on a six hundred dollar stock? If you like it as an investment, go right ahead. But there's a lot of other stocks out there, you know, that are cheaper. That you know, it's all about risk to reward. You know, it's a great winner. Stock did great. I'm very static, but Elon Musk, you know, being the second richest person in the world at my age, you know, it's it's a great thing. But I talked about last week. I know you probably that's why you're bringing it up. You know, listen, don't focus on the the what's moving in the morning because remember, the goal is you're here to make a day's pay. That's about it. All right, guys, good luck today. Um, be safe. And then um, before we go, I just want to just tell you this. We got, uh, what do we got going over here? Oops, what happened here? Somebody took it off. Oh, there we go. Okay. I uh, just want to bring this up. For, uh, just bring this up to remind everybody. So we got two big events that are going on this week. We have the um, multi-speaker event that's coming on on Thursday. So don't miss it. Register. You can do it on our homepage or our website. We'll post that link up there. And then also Traders Talk for everyone in the Cyber Group Room, our most popular event for the week, where we, we take some of you traders and we review it and we share it with you um, and let you know what the strategies with a Q&A strategy with Josh. So we got two big events today. Oh, and then also for some of you that are in the Cyber Group Room, whoever follows Bookmap, I'm going to be doing a an event with them tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's not on here, but if anyone here is trading on level four, I will be on Bookmap too, talking about a couple strategies. 
on how I use Bookmap. I know that's always a big, uh, a big uh, excitement too. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you back here at two thirty.